I'm Virendra sir. Welcome again with our new video in class 4, chapter 8, Soil and Crop Production. Soil and Crop Production. Okay. You know, soil is the most important renewable natural resources. You cannot imagine our life or a living being's life without soil. We are dependent on soil to live. Okay? Because from soil only we get plants and whatever we eat, eatable things. Okay, we grow on soil. Okay? And plants also needed nutrients and moisture. And this nutrients and moisture plants also are getting from the soil only. Okay? So here first thing, how is soil formed? So soil is formed due to the process of weathering. Due to the process of weathering. Weather means what? In our India, weather also changes day by day. Yes, sometimes you feel very hot. Some it's, uh, it's raining very much. Okay, so these mountains, because of this rain and heat, it's become loose. Okay, and slowly, slowly it started breaking in a small particles. Okay, and these small particles become soil. Okay, so this depended on temperature, running water, wind and glaciers. Glaciers, you know, slow moving rivers of ice. Okay, so slowly, slowly these things, these rocks are breaking up of very small particles and form as soil. Okay, so it takes millions of years for forming a millicentimeter form of soil. Okay? So next, types of soil. Here generally we can see in our country five types of soil. Okay? Layers of soil are not similar at all the places in our country. Okay, so here we have five types of soil. Alluvial soil, black soil, red and yellow soil, desert uh, or arid soil and mountainous soil. Okay? So what is alluvial soil? So this is the most widely spread and fertile soil. Okay, it is found. Okay, so a large number of rivers coming the Himalayan mountains, and it's bring sand and some silt with them. Okay, so. These rivers spread both sides of the banks and form alluvial soil. Understood? Okay, how is alluvial soil form? Uh, soil form? You know, what's more? This Himalayan mountain crosses so many rivers. Okay, this coming uh, number of rivers coming from the Himalayan mountains. So these rivers bring uh, silt and sand with them okay when it's having flood in this river flood you know so both sides of the river this spread the, that silt and this fine silt are called alluvial soil okay this is very fertile soil it's very fertile for growing rice wheat uh, maize, sugarcane, pulses, cotton, jute, and vegetables. Okay? This alluvial soils are very fertile. Okay, among this, all the soil, this alluvial soil is the most fertile soil. Okay? Next, you see black soil. So, this type of soil is black in color. Okay, this black soil is black in color because it is breaking up of a black plateau. Okay, black plateau, black mountains. Okay, when igneous rocks break, this produce soils of black color. Okay, black color. This black lava soil is good for producing cotton and sugarcane. This black soil is good for, for growing cotton and sugarcane. Okay, so this sometimes is called black cotton soil also. Why black cotton soil? Soil. Okay. Because it's very good for growing water. 
Okay, so next is our red and yellow soil. Red soil develops on crystalline igneous rocks. This is high. This develops from the red crystalline igneous rocks. Okay, and this black soil or yellow soil, uh, red soil and yellow soil is very good for growing millets. Okay, millets and uh, oil seeds. Okay, at some places the red soils are leached. This is some you know leached means uh, this can pass through the some liquid things. Okay, liquid liquids. This leach leach sometimes we call leaching. Okay, these are called laterite soil. Okay, then this red and yellow soils are leached some liquid materials. So it's called laterite soil. Okay, the variety of grass can be grown in this laterite soil. Okay, so in this red soil. Tea, rubber, and tobacco. We can grow rice. Okay. Next is desert or arid soil. Okay. It is found in the western part of India. You know, Sahara Desert. Okay. Sometimes we call Indian Desert also. No. Okay. It is in Rajasthan. Okay. So this is very scanty rainfall. In this desert area, we get very scanty rainfall and sometimes no rainfall. Okay. This. So whenever it has some part for irrigation, okay. Here we can uh, grow some wheat, okay, wheat and gram, okay. This things we can grow in desert area, okay. Next is mountainous soil. Mountainous soil. Mountainous soil. This soil we can get in mountainous or hilly areas, okay. Mountainous and hilly areas. But there is hilly areas. So this. Soil is not very much fertile. Okay, this is uh, like loamy and silt, uh, silty so, so, soil. Okay, so in this soil, generally we can grow uh, what is called fruit trees uh, like uh, apple. Okay, and uh, many other trees also grows like tea. Sesame, sal, rosewood. Okay, these are the trees we can grow in in mountainous soil. Okay, so in our country we have a large variety of soil. So this help us to grow variety of crops. But this soil also needed some time uh, for uh, what is called fertility. Okay, they are losing their fertility. So we are making them again. It's fertile. Fertile by adding manures and chemical fertilizers. Okay, so manures, you know, as like natural things we can get as like cow dung. Okay, some rotten things. These are manures. Okay, naturally we can get and chemical fertilizers which are as like uh, uh, khad, you know, as like DAP, urea. Okay, potash. These are all chemical fertilizers. So for adding. These things we are making fertile again this soil. Okay. Next we see crop production in our India. In this soil, this kind of crop crops are production. So here first we have divided these crops in two parts. Okay. First is food crops. Second one is cash crops. Okay. Food crops is what? These crops we are growing for selling purpose. Oh sorry. Food crops is what? This food crops we are growing for our own use, for our eating purpose. Okay? This food crops we are growing for our own use, for our eating purpose. Okay? Just like rice, wheat, maize, millets, and pulses. Generally, these crops we are growing for our eating purpose. Okay? Sometimes we are selling, but most of the uh, farmers and uh, we are we are growing for our Almost okay, and another thing is cash crops. Cash crops means cash, you know, cash for earning, okay, money purpose. So these crops are going for selling purpose. Okay, we are selling them and earning some money. Okay, these crops are it's like sugarcane, jute, oil seeds, cotton, tea, rubber, coconut, and tobacco. Okay, these crops are going for selling purpose. Okay, so let us see one first. We see our main food crops. Okay, main food crops are like rice. So here we have written rice. Okay, rice 
is needed hot and wet climate okay rice is needed hot and wet climate and this rice are mostly in our india grown in this states it's like assam west bengal jharkhand chhattisgarh bihar andhra pradesh tamil nadu kerala punjab and haryana we are growing in this states rice okay most of this state okay next we will see wheat okay so another food crops is our wheat okay so wheat is growing in our cool and moist place in our india okay cool and moist place that is moist okay moist means you know nami okay so here in our india this is the state where growing wheat punjab haryana uttar pradesh madhya pradesh and gujarat okay in this state mostly we are growing wheat okay another food crop is millets millets they are jowar baja and ragi okay this all are all millets okay these are jowar baja and ragi okay. or this millets they are growing in our states like rajasthan bihar gujarat karnataka and andhra pradesh okay here india is the world's largest producer and consumer of pulses okay pulses you know pulses were growing most of our uh, largest producers and consumer consumer is what seller okay we are selling now uh, this our pulses okay next is our main cash crops okay main cash crops cash crops main cash crops is sugar cane okay sugar cane so sugar cane we are growing in uttar pradesh madhya pradesh maharashtra bihar tamil nadu and punjab okay this sugar cane is we are get from this sugar cane we are getting jaggery and uh, sugar you know jaggery means what gur okay for this purpose this gur purpose or uh, sugar purpose we are growing this sugar cane okay next we see our okay so next that's what is jute so jute we can get in hot and wet climate of india okay so you know jute is used to make a uh, jute bag robes and carpets okay so we are this good jute are uh, growing for this purpose for making bags robes and carpet okay so this jute are going in west bengal assam bihar and odisha okay because you know already we have studied jute is grown in black soil okay so West Bengal, Assam, Bihar, and Odisha. We can get black soil. Okay. So next, that's what is oil seeds. Oil seeds. You know, oil from which seed we are getting oil for vegetable oil. You know. Okay. So these seeds are mustard seed, groundnut, lime seed, sesame, and sunflower. Okay. Now these seeds we are getting vegetable oil. Okay. Next is our cotton. Cotton is growing for making uniform or sort of clothes. Okay, so cotton is grown in Gujarat, Punjab, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, and Tamil Nadu. Okay, in this states we are growing cotton. Another one is tea. Tea is needed hot and wet climate for growing. Okay, in our India. Can be grown in Assam, West Bengal, some parts of West Bengal, and nearly hills in South. Okay, you know, tea is the uh, world's largest producer in our India, and also largest exporter in India. Okay, we are exporting uh, tea to other country. Okay, so another case of this is our. Rubber, you know, rubber. We are making for tires or many other uses also. So this can be grown in Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, and Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Okay. Another one is coffee. Coffee, you know, we are drinking coffee. Okay, for drink. So coffee can be grown in Karnataka, Kerala, and 
Tamil Nadu. Okay, spices. Spices, you know, masala. Okay, we are using uh, for cooking purpose. We are using uh, vegetables for cooking. Okay, We're mixing with vegetables. So these are pepper. Okay, black pepper is very round, round. Chilies, ginger, cardamom. Okay, this cardamom is in called dal chili. Okay, so these spices can be grown or we can get in our state like Kerala and Karnataka. Okay, in this state, we are getting these spices. Okay, so now you see for agriculture production factors. What are the factors we can grow now more and more crops? Okay, so first fact is that more areas has been brought under irrigation. In our India, before there were no facilities or no uh, canal for irrigation of field or no uh, modern machines for our uh, irrigation field. Okay, now more areas has been brought under irrigation. Okay, we have developed some like deep going canals. Okay, for our irrigation field irrigation. Okay. Another fact is that use of manual sand fertilizers. We are using many modern methods of fertilizers. Okay, manuals generally we can get little less nowadays, but fertilizers we have developed many types of fertilizers. Okay, and there is use of tractors and other modern machines for plowing or field for preparing the soil. Okay, we are using tractors and many other modern machines. Okay, nowadays we are using. And another is use of high quality of seeds. You know, you have heard maybe hybrid seed. Okay, these are the high quality seeds. Okay, now from one seed we can do uh, so many pro uh, okay production. Another is green revolution. Green revolution is what? Now government has started green revolution. Means the uh, government also is helping us for growing for crop. Uh, Cultivating the farmers. Okay, these are from renewables. And there is livestock rearing. Livestock rearing with agriculture work, farmers are rearing some cattle also. Okay, then we are uh, rearing some cattle also, as like cows, sheep, and camels, elephant, and mules. Okay, cows, you know, cows we are uh, rearing for milk purpose. Okay, sheep for wool and camels also for wool and sometimes camels are pulling the cart. Okay, elephant, elephants also are tame for uh, carrying the uh, log. Okay, wood log. And mules also they are carrying the heavy load in our plain area. Okay, so this was our chapter I hope you have understood better. For better understanding, watch the video again and again. And read the chapter in your book. Okay? And understand as they solve the question. Okay, thank you.